Alright guys, here back at the 2019 48 or e-swap truck. I wanted to show you guys the difference here. We have to stick with the 68 RFE converter hub, being that we have a 10 bolt flex plate now on the 19 and newer trucks versus an 8 bolt. So we're keeping a 10 bolt 68 RFE flex plate going with the 68 hub with a 48 converter. A uh, little difference here, but uh, we're ready to go back together and we should have this truck running in a short period of time. Okay, we got Adam Lindahl's 2012 on the dyno. This is the truck that came up from Florida with a burned up Allison in it. They had originally swapped it, done an Allison conversion, and after four or five Allisons, uh, they decided to do a 48RE swap. So we pulled the Allison out and put our 48RE uh, conversion in it and we've got it driving good everything's working well and he wanted us to dial it in on the dyno it's got 100 percent over injectors a 366 over 480 twin setup on it um, while it was here he was having a head gasket problem as well so we pulled the head and put a dnj stage one head on it with arp 625 head studs uh, i believe it has a 12 mil cp3 and uh, he wants to limit it to around 800 horsepower just so he can drive his truck every day and not tear it up because he's had a lot of problems with the transmissions and he is ready for something that's reliable so we have it dialed in tune one made i dialed it back to 501 horsepower uh, tune five i have at 807 horsepower and then i have it linearly increased in between so he's got a range of power he can he can choose from so this should be a, a good daily driver a reliable tow rig um, and something that he can turn up and still have a little bit of fun with if he wants to. thing I noticed on this truck is how fast this twin setup spools and we're able to get our air fuel ratios dialed in on the tuning and so I'm going to show you guys how clean we can get this set up on a 812 horsepower tune up this made 1352 foot pounds of torque we could make a little more torque if we really leaned on it down low but he really is looking for ultimate reliability um, so I'm going to go through and or set up the camera outside and I'll show you how clean we can make this run. This will be no foot braking. I'm just going to roll into it when the dyno run starts, go 100% throttle and we're letting the ECM do all the control on air fuel ratio. Okay, so there you go guys. We've got this thing ready to roll off the dyno. It's going to go on a um, shipping truck and go back to its owner in Florida. And I think he's going to be happy with this. He'll be able to keep the thing on tune one at 500 horsepower and do his heavy towing that he needs to. And he'll be able to turn the thing up to a little over 800 horsepower and have some fun with it on the street if he wants to as well. And still be clean enough that it, he can tow his boat on the weekends without sitting up everything. So. Hopefully this uh, will make him happy and we'll get this thing going back to the Sunshine State. This is Ron Towers 2007 G56 truck. Um, he's got quite the setup on it. He has Extragy 250% injectors, Extragy 12 mil CP3, a Force Inductions 476 96 115 turbo as a single. Um, he has Waggler rods in it and industrial girdle um, Hamilton 188 220 cam 625s I believe he has valve springs and push rods as well um, two flat surfaces no firings uh, we brought the truck in he wanted to see what power it made with the tuning that was on it it made a thousand made 1120 horsepower with the uh, on max effort tune with the tuning that was in the truck um, so we flashed one of our tunes into it and um, after obviously getting it dialed in after a few runs we ended at 1,166 horsepower and I believe it was 1,658 torque um, for the setup. So it really 
really is a well-rounded setup. Uh, spools much better than what it what it did before with the previous tuning. Um, so a few things that we adjusted to make drivability nicer um, and easier for him to drive on the street. So hopefully he's happy with his newfound power, but I will get him off the dyno and send him on the way. So after Ron's dyno day, or dyno, we uh, obviously have to update the list. So he made 1166 and 1658, which puts him at number four. So really close to Corey Hall's 1169, um, but if you want to get on there, just bring it on the dyno and we can get you, get you up there. We've got nitrous, I mean, you want to get on that, on that list, we can, we can make you get on that list. <laughs> 